Quintana's was recently spruced up on the outside with fresh paint and new signage. The familiar long, yellow awning is gone. The bright window curtains with Mexican blanket pattern now seem much more noticeable from the outside. If Quintana's mariachi music doesn't put you in the mood for tequila, nothing will. Mine was in the form of a new drink called Mexican Martini Austin Style. Served in a classic salt-rimmed martini glass, the drink was a mixture of Hornitos tequila, orange juice, lemon, lime, and bar mix. Quintana's guacamole was eye-catching. The guacamole was served at the center of an overlapping arrangement of tostados chips, which caused the entire production to look very much like a chrysanthemum in full bloom. The guacamole contained garlic, onion, and tomato in support of creamy and unique-tasting fresh avocado. Quintana's Tex-Mex tons looked like mini Chinese egg rolls. I discovered the biggest difference inside was that these little bites contained, with the exception of a hint of corn, beautiful, slow-cooked pork. The Mexico City tortilla soup offered a variety of textures as well as root vegetable, corn, red pepper, and tomato flavors. Monterey Jack cheese and bits of tortilla chips stirred through added modestly to the flavor profile but substantially to the texture of the soup. I now know where to find the best fish tacos in town. For the amount and quality of the cod, the accents, the Mexican slaw, and the soft flour tortilla, Quintana's fish tacos weren't life-changing as the menu boasted, but they were extremely good. Three plump golden brown cod loins, one per taco, made this plate a feast. When I broke into Quintana's barbacoa burrito with my spoon, out flowed sweet and sour sauce redolent with tomato and onion flavors, plus healthy sized pieces of tender beef. I didn't spot any of the promised cheddar cheese, unless it had melted beyond recognition, but cheese or no cheese, it was one delicious homemade burrito. Eggs, milk, condensed milk, cream, sugar, and vanilla together can produce beautiful tasting results. The Mexican flan was a fine example. I can see why it became a traditional dessert of Mexico. Quintana's receives a rating of three out of four stars from me. Dinner for two with drinks, tax, and tip costs approximately $125.